children a computer system is defined as a machine that is used to generate information from data now what is data data are the raw facts and figures which when processed becomes the information so how can i differentiate between whether it's a data or an information so when you have any number or any text which is not giving you the complete information then that will be called as a data but when you process them when you put the words together and make convert it into a meaningful sentence then it will be called as an information for example 2 3 and a plus operator they are the data but when i process them do the calculation i get the answer as 5 so 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 now 5 is the information generated from 2 and 3 a computer system is also defined as combination of components designed to process data and store files so a computer system always requires a hardware a software and a user to fully make it functional so let us now explore various hardware components of computer monitor a monitor is a device that shows what work we have done on a computer there are basically three types of monitor crt monitor lcd monitor and led monitor crt monitor the full form of crt is cathode ray tube it is a traditional glass screen television like monitor it's very big in size and it also consumes lot of electricity and desk space lcd monitor the full form of lcd is liquid crystal display it's a flat type of computer screen it uses very less electricity in comparison to crt monitor and it also takes less space on desk these monitors have flat panel display and they are very common these days next is led the full form of led is light emitting diode it has a better quality than lcd they are thinner and lighter in weight they use 40% less power than lcd and they last longer as well so basic difference is in the quality of the picture between lcd and led leds have better quality of picture in comparison to the lcd also they consume less electricity than lcds another important part of computer is cpu a cpu stands for central processing unit it is called brain of computer it controls all the functions of computer whatever input and output we give all are managed by cpu it does all the calculations and display the result on monitor it stores lot of information in its component called memory unit cpu is also called microprocessor it processes all the data given to it hence the another name of cpu is also microprocessor memory unit this is an important part of cpu in this unit we can store information according to our need the information in the memory can be changed and recalled on the screen when needed like you all have your memory you you store the data you store the memories whatever incidents happen in your life in your memory unit same way computer also needs a memory a place where it can store all the incidents or all the instructions given and they are recalled like you recall all your old memories same way here the computer recalls all the old memories whenever it is required and show it as show us on the screen another component of cpu is cu control unit it controls the work like traffic policeman it controls and manages the working of all parts of computer it also controls all the activities which we give to the computer to do it tells other parts of computer what they should do and when they should do the third and the last component of cpu is alu arithmetic and logic unit it performs all mathematical calculations and also performs logical operations it is responsible for all kinds of calculations given to a computer to do
माउस माउस इज अ पॉइंटिंग डिवाइस इट इज कनेक्टेड टू सी पी यू बाई केबल बट नाउ डेज वी ऑल्सो हैव माउस विच आर वायरलेस अ माउस हैज टू बटन वन ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड अनदर ऑन द राइट इट इज यूज टू पॉइंट सेलेक्ट एंड मूव एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द स्क्रीन इट ऑल्सो हेल्प अस टू ड्रॉ एनी थिंग ऑन द ऑन द कंप्यूटर एंड ऑल्सो प्ले गेम्स अ स्क्राउल माउस has a scroll wheel in the middle of the left and right buttons of a mouse the scroll wheel helps you to move up and down in a page another device which is commonly seen in computer system is printer a printer is used to print the information from computer to a paper the output printed on a paper is called hard copy it can be a colored or a black and white copy a printer is an output device and it is used whenever we want to generate a hard copy children we also need one device to give input to a computer keyboard is a device by which we give an input to a computer in form of text and numbers a keyboard looks like a typewriter when we start typing the text appears on the screen and the text starts writing from the place where cursor is blinking a keyboard has many keys and on a standard keyboard there are 104 keys placed all together different keys are available on a keyboard and each set of keys has its own purpose now let us see how many types of keys are there there are alphabet keys number keys function keys and special keys alphabet keys the keys which are available on the center of the keyboard are known as alphabet keys the letters from a to z are uh, on the keyboard which makes us type all the characters the alphabet keys on the keyboard are in a specified pattern they are not from a to z regularly the first key is q then e w then e then r the d and y that is why a standard keyboard is known as qwerty keyboard next is number keys number keys are on two places on a keyboard one on the top of the alphabet keys and another on the right hand side the right hand side keyboard keypad is used frequently than the upper keys the digits on the number keys are from 0 to 9 and these keys are used for writing numerics on the monitor screen the right hand side keypad can be used when the number lock is on next is function keys function keys are on the topmost part of the keyboard they are numbered from f1 to f12 they have special purpose next is special keys there are many special keys so we are going to cover them one by one first is space bar it is the longest key of the keyboard and used to give space while you are typing it also falls into the category of typing keys next enter key enter key is used to bring the cursor to the next line caps lock key is used when we want to type something in the capital letters or upper case if the caps lock key is on the text will appear on upper case and if the caps lock key is off the text will appear in the lower case next is delete key delete key is used to erase the letter on the right hand side of the cursor backspace key it is also used to delete the letter on the left hand side of the cursor shift key shift key is also a special key it is used in combination with other keys when we press shift key in combination with other keys the letters on the top of the key are printed on the screen it is also used for printing the letters in upper case and lower case accordingly next comes the navigation keys arrow keys are important navigation keys arrow keys are used to move the cursor up down left and right while tapping it happens many times that we need to move our cursor to various locations so we can use arrow keys for the same computer works on the pattern of ipo cycle 
whenever we work on computer we first give the input to a computer through the input device so the instructions that you give to the computer is called input and when the work is done by a computer we call its processing so cpu does the processing for us and finally whatever output we get from the computer that is shown on the output devices like monitor so the final result which we get from the computer is known as output and is shown on the output device so instruction that we give to computer is called input processing is the activity done by the computer on our data on the input and the final result which we get is known as the output for each input output and processing we have different set of hardware devices as shown in the picture let us understand the ipo process with the help of an example which you see in your day to day life you all must have seen your mother making banana shake at home for you in this process also we follow ipo cycle let's see how now mama needs banana milk and sugar to make banana shake so banana milk and sugar are the input now mama will turn on the mixer grinder and whatever is there inside will be grinded will be mixed together this will be process once the processing is done mama will put the banana shake into the glass and will serve you so the served banana shake is the output so we have seen how ipo cycle is applicable in day to day life in the same way to do any work on computer you have to follow three steps input process and output this is called ipo cycle now let's talk about the types of software in a computer so what is a software a software is a that part of computer which we cannot see and we cannot touch it is physically there in the computer but is not available for touching like hardware of a computer so what is software a software is generally a set of programs a set of instructions which we want to give to computer to perform a particular task now what is a program a program is also a instruction given to a computer so difference between program and software is that a software can be said as a group of many programs when many programs are put together it is called as software and a single set of instruction is known as a program there are two types of software application software and system software both the types of software are of equal importance to us so let's first talk about system software system software these are those programs those softwares which helps our computer to work and manage all the activities which we are doing we need an operating system to run our computer properly it manages all the hardware components and their working we can have a computer with without application software but we cannot have a computer without a system software you can say a system software is a soul of a computer without system software a computer is just a bare machine so what are the examples of system software all the operating systems are known as system software now let's see what is application software application softwares are those softwares which perform a particular task they are meant to do a single kind of work and they cannot manage our computer and its hardware devices 
so application softwares can, are used for particular tasks and they may or may not be in the computer here are few examples of application software you can see we have paint we have gmail we have ms word we have Win media player so there are few examples of application software which we use in our day-to-day -day life so that's all for today children thank you so much thank you for your patience listening hope you must have liked the video